Okay. This is very important. It's one of the, 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 the things I love to teach. came to me a number of years ago. Behind every problem, there is a question trying to ask itself. Behind every question, there is an answer trying to reveal itself. Behind every answer, there is an action trying to express itself. And behind every action, there is a way of life trying to be born. I'm going to say it again. It's very important. Remember we separated content from consciousness? Remember that? OK. So a problem, many problems, the word problem comes from the word emblem. A problem is emblematic of, of content in our consciousness. So if we have thoughts of worry, lack, fear, poverty, scarcity, that's content in our ocean of consciousness. Behind every problem, which is emblem of content, there's a question trying to ask itself. Behind every question, there's an answer. Behind every answer, there's an action. Behind every action, there's a way of life trying to be born. So you want to live in a question that's large enough that as the universe answers the question, your life changes. You don't have to know how to do something. You have to ask the right question. So if you ask, what is the nature of prosperity? As an example, what is the nature of prosperity? The universe will start to answer that question for you. Sometimes in your meditation, in your dreams, suddenly you'll get an answer. Let's take that as an example. 2007, 2008, when the economists were talking about a recession happening in the United States and globally, I went to Mother Nature. And I said to the avocados, is there a recession coming? And the avocado said, no, we're still going to avocado. We're still going to grow. I said, OK. I went to the vegetables in kimchi. I said, is there a recession coming? Kimchi said, no, we're still going to grow. I went to the grass. I said, is there a recession coming? He said, no, that's in man's mind. Those are thoughts combined with an immature economic system that's producing the experience of lack. Abundance is everywhere. Recession breeds resourcefulness. Prosperity is everywhere. So if you ask, as an example, the nature of prosperity. The problem is, the problem might be, I don't have enough. So you ask, what is the nature of prosperity? You start to hear, I am infinite. I'm everywhere. I have no beginning. I have no end. I'm in a field of abundance. And then it'll give you an action. Remember? Qu problem, ask a question, question gives you an answer, after the answer is an action. Action will be give. And your mind says, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I don't have anything. That's why I'm asking the question. Then prosperity says, no, I says I'm infinite and invisible. Give what you got, give a smile. 
be of service. Open the door for somebody. Help somebody. Ask the question, how can I give today? What can I give today? And the universe will answer that question, and the universe will give you more to give. Out of what? Out of nothing. Something will happen. And then that action will become a way of life. You will become a giver. In the hands of the givers, are never empty. The universe constantly supplies them out of nothing with more opportunities, more possibilities. Behind every problem, there's a question. Behind every question, there's an answer. Behind every answer, there's an action. Behind every action, there's a way of life. You want to live in a question that as the universe answers the question for you, it expands your awareness and creates transformation. How can I give today? How can I serve today? How can I celebrate today? How can I be more creative today? How can I be more healthy today? How can I radiate today? How can I shine today? Ask that question. I'll tell you one little story. I've had the privilege of facilitating four meetings with His Holiness the Dalai Lama. We, we converged sp spiritual and economic leaders from around the world to have these, what were called synthesis dialogues. And I was the facilitator of these meetings. It was under the... Um, the aegis of the Association for Global New Thought, of which I'm currently president. And so one day I was sitting next to His Holiness, and I had this thought, how did I get here? How did I end up working with His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, facilitating these meetings? And I went back to my childhood as a young boy, I was laying on the grass, looking up at the stars under a tree that was in front of my dad's house. And I was thinking about the world, and I wanted to make a difference. And I asked, how can I help bring peace in the world? It was a big question for a small boy. The boy was maybe 10 years old, that boy being me. Big question, small boy. But by asking that question, and then I asked, how did I get here? I could see my life and the circumstances and the challenges and the situations and everything that I grew through, refining me, acting like coarse sandpaper sometimes, fine sandpaper sometimes, buffing sometimes, leading me to that moment where I'm sitting next to His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, and we're dealing with world leaders about peace on the planet. I want you to ask a question big enough that it changes your life. You don't have to know the answer to it. You can start with, what is the nature of prosperity? You can start with, what is the nature of love? You can start with, how can I be of service? And out of nothing, with your soul faculty, the image and likeness of God, pulling your attention away from circumstances and situations, out of nothing, your life will birth something new. And you will not be leaning on the world for your happiness. Circumstances or conditions, they change all the time. The world of phenomena changes all the time. You will be in tune with that which doesn't change. The changeless will express through you. And you'll be a vehicle, an instrument of beauty, of love and harmony and inspiration. In your personal life, it'll be sweet. Your needs will be met. 
healings will happen. Life is good. It's magnificent. It's wonderful. Oh my God. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you getting this? Yes? yes. Shout it one more time. Yes, I am. Yes, I can. Yes, I am willing. And it is happening right now. Through me. As me. Right now. You've just gone beyond religion. You've gone into a sense of oneness with the presence which spawned all religions. You are coming into a state of spiritual liberation, dynamic freedom, joy, and happiness. We're setting a new vibrational uh, norm for you to strive for, releasing that which is hindering you from right seeing and right action is occurring. I declare it. I decree it. I know it. I feel it. I see it. I give thanks for it. I evoke it and activate it in all of the beings here today. I know it. I feel it that is happening. Yes? Yes. I understand this is our opportunity for questions and answers. We have a few questions. Is that okay with you? We're not, I'm not finished with you yet. 네. 아, 지금부터는 마이클 버나드 베기스 박사님과 함께, 어, Q&A 이벤트에 당첨되신 분들에 한해서 저희가 질문하실 수 있는 기회를 드리고자 합니다. 세 분이 당첨이 되셨는데요. 먼저 그 행운의 주인공, 유가영님. 어디 계신가요? 아, 네, 저기 계시네요. 마이크 좀 전달해 주시겠어요? 네. 한국말로 하셔도 저 번역기 끼셨거든요. 아, 네. 네, 편하게 영어로... 말씀하시면 됩니다. 어, 일어서서 할까요? 네, 일어나서 해주시면 더 좋죠. 아, uh, hello, Michael. Hi. Hey. Hey. You speaking English? Yes. Okay. Uh, I could actually talk to you through the translator, but I wanted to talk to you in English, so I am trying. And she's translating to me now in Korean. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, my question is this. That one of my favorite mo uh, the book is the secret. Yes. And I know that you were in the movie, and I watched you there, and it was very inspiring. Um, so I believe the concept of the law of attraction, and I try to think about it every day. But after I was trying to do it for a while, that I realized that what's important for me was to have some trust in myself and start to love myself to do so. Otherwise, you know, it's, I found it very difficult to do so. So I was trying to, uh, I want to ask you that is, if there is any easy way to love, start loving yourself? Yes, this is a very good question. Thank you. Because the beginning of spiritual growth, development, and unfoldment is self-love. We learn to fall in love with our essential self, that which was created perfect and is always unfolding. As we fall in love with this self, the obstacles and the hindrances lessen because we're not projecting onto the world unresolved issues in our own soul. Self-loathing, self-hate, not good enough, competition, so when you fall in love with yourself, you, you begin to eliminate vibrational obstacles so that your path becomes smoother. So in order to begin self-love and appreciation, you start, you know, everyone just right now, just put their arms around themselves. Just, just kind of hug yourself. And consider <clears throat> that the presence made something unique, one of a kind, unrepeatable. And that you are important to the presence. Because the presence does not make meaningless acts. So you're important, you're significant. 
The next thing you do is you think about someone in your life that loved you for no reason at all. You can close your eyes as you're doing this right now. It could be a grandparent, a friend, an associate. But the love was not based on an award or a reward. They just loved you. It's unconditional. So with the feeling that you are significant and important to the presence, and the feeling of this love that someone had for you, You begin to breathe into this love and you begin to accept this love for yourself. You're beginning to love yourself the same way this person loved you for no reason at all. We have heard the teaching to love your neighbor as yourself. But in order to do that, we must love ourselves first. Because we wouldn't want to wish onto other people our lack of self love. So, with these two dynamics, we are significant, we're not an accident. and the feeling of how it felt when someone loved us. Without allowing it to be egocentric, we fall in love with our own preciousness. Breathing in, release the sound of ah, ah. So that's how we begin. And you do a little bit of that every day until you have a sense of spiritual self-esteem. So that you're loving yourself not based on good stuff you've done. That's conditional. You know, I got, I did a, I got a good report, I got a good grade, I got a good job, I have good money, I like myself right now. Those things change. You're developing a base of self-love, which is a spiritual self-esteem, but, but it's not based on you being superior to anyone, inferior to anyone, or equal. It's based on uniqueness. There's no one like you. Someone may look like you. They may come from the same province. They may come from the same womb, but you're unique. Now, if you practice that a little bit every day, you start to just have an attitude of, of, of feeling good about yourself. Obstacles will dissolve, and then you'll find you're able to confer that same kind of love onto other people. The way you love yourself, you have patience with yourself, you have compassion with yourself, you forgive yourself quickly, you do the same thing for other people. You'll love other people, you have compassion for other people, you have patience for other people. You can't do for someone else what you haven't done for yourself. So to love your neighbor as yourself, you have to love yourself. Is that clear? Who asked the question? Claire, Claire, it's clear? Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey. Thanks for the lecture today. I will speak English more than, I speak Korean more than English for the question. 
아, 그 강연해 주시면서 감사에 대해서 이제 리스트를 만들고 쓰라고 연습하라고 얘기를 하셨는데 저는 매일 그 감사하는 거를 다섯 개에서 최소한 열개 정도 아침에 눈을 뜨자마자 연습을 하고 있거든요. 근데 간혹 그 감사하는 느낌 없이 그냥 감사를 위한 감사 리스트를 써도 되는 건지 어, 그 감사 얘기를 쓰면서 가장 크게 든 의문이 그거였거든요. 그냥 감사하는 걸 써야 되니까 내가 이걸 쓰는 게 아닌지 그런 연습을 계속 해도 되는지를 여쭈고 싶습니다. 네. Yes. Yes, even if you don't feel it, you continue to do the work anyway. Now, here's a, I'm going to give you a two-part answer. Spiritual practice is not just about doing something because it feels good. Sometimes we do spiritual practice when it doesn't feel good. What's happening is that you're about to have a breakthrough. And the egoic structure, which is trying to keep you in your small paradigm, creates distractions. Boredom, not feeling good about it, doubt, drowsiness, resistance. So you look at those distractions, but you do it anyway. Eventually, those distractions are transcended or transmuted and you find yourself with a whole new opening. So this is not a, a feel-good religion. The byproduct of doing it is that you feel better. But real spiritual practice is about doing it regardless of how you feel. It's like there are days that get up, I get up, I may not feel like meditating. That's no excuse. I still meditate. There are days I get up, I don't feel like working out. It's no excuse. I still do it. It breaks a barrier. And so even if you don't feel it, the feeling is underneath there. It's going to pop up. Do not give up a second before your blessing. Don't do it. We clear? It's very clear. Thank you. Thank you. Good question. Okay. 네, 마지막으로 김준희님 어디 계신가요? 마지막 행운의 주인공이십니다. 네, 질문해 주세요. 꿈에서 꿨던 일들이 현실에서 일어나는데 어, 그 현실에서 일어날 때 대자비 현상처럼 이거 내가 꿈에서 봤던 거야 이렇게 생각하는 게 아니라. 앞으로 어떤 일이 어떻게 벌어지는지 그 사건들이 어떻게 펼쳐질지를 미리 알고 있거든요. 그래서 처음에는 제가 바꾸려고 노력을 많이 해봤는데 바꿀 수 없다는 것을 제 자신이 깨달았는데 그게 바꿀 수 없는 게 진짜인지 알, 알고 싶고요. 이런 일들이 계속 꿈들을 꾸는 걸 제가 어떻게 받아들여야 할지 질문 드리고 싶습니다. Okay, so you are developing a, 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 a gift in the dream state which is allowing you to see something that's already been set in motion that ultimately comes to pass. So two things. One, it's beautiful. It's a great gift. And you can begin to journal and write down your dreams uh, that will give you an idea of what's unfolding. Okay? Secondly, your question has something to do, can you change what you see? The answer is, you can change it to a degree. Intuition is the extension of consciousness into time. Telepathy is the extension of consciousness into space. So in your dream state, you're using intuition Extending it into time, so you're seeing something that's already been set in motion before it manifests. So if you see something set in motion before it manifests, you can come out of that dream and you can pray. You begin to feel 
harmony, right action, peace is prevailing, and it can shift what has been set in motion before it manifests. It still may manifest, but it might not, it might not be as bad. You see? Because what you're seeing is something has been set in motion. So like if a, a medium or a psychic looks at you and says, oh, I see A, B, C is going to happen, they're seeing prevailing thought forms that have already been set in motion that are seeking to manifest. So it's, it's like somebody, it's like if I play catch with her, if I throw a ball, and we all see the arc of the ball, and it's, we know she's going to catch it, but somebody could come up and snag it right in the middle. That's what prayer does. It can stop it, you see, or change its trajectory, if it's something bad, that is. It doesn't work all the time, but you can develop skills. That's what prayer does. Prayer is um, having a realization of that which is real, capital R. What's been set in motion is transitory. It's not real. It's transitory. It's, an, it's, a, it's, it's a thought forms that are trying to manifest. But we can change that. So uh, continue to explore your gift. Are you a meditator? Yes. So you continue to meditate. You see, the higher state beyond intuition is direct knowing. Intuition is extension of consciousness into time, but direct knowing is going into the timeless. So when you go into meditation and you have a fleeting second of the timelessness, and you combine that with prayer, you can change things. Does that make sense? Thank you. 네, 어, 원래 세 번만 하고 맞춰야 하는데 제가 질문 하나만 갑자기 좀 드려도 될까요? 저는 말씀하신 것들이 어, 이미 제 안에서 굉장히 많이 생각했던 부분들이고 너무나 공감하고 있고 어, 제 영혼이나 이런 것들이 많은 것들을 생각하면서 평화와 행복을 굉장히 원하고 있거든요. 또 특히나 이제 미스코리아니까 <웃음> 세계 평화를 위해서 내지는 뭐 yes. 작은 어, 우리 나라의 평화를 위해서 굉장히 뭔가 하고 싶은데 요즘 가장 저의 고민은 내가 그걸 위해 뭘할수 있을까거든요. 지금 이 순간 그리고 이 순간부터 시작해서 과, 과연 내가 뭘 행복을 위해서 평화를 위해서 세계 평화를 위해 뭘할수 있을까 이게 저의 요즘에 가장 큰 인생의 고민입니다. 대답 좀 <웃음> 부탁드려도 될까요? This is a beautiful question. And all of you can ask that question. So one individual is a holographic expression of the great presence. In other words, the part contains the whole. So when you as an individual the word individual means undivided. That's what the word individual means. Undivided from the whole. When you become free in yourself and you begin to feel not just emotionally, but you have an insight into peace. Let's describe peace for a moment. Peace is not the absence of conflict. Peace is the dynamic of harmonizing good. That's what peace is. It's a dynamic like love. So when you have an awareness of peace as a holograph, holographic expression, you radiate peace everywhere you go. And you affect hundreds of people, people you may never even meet. You end up changing your neighborhood when you lift your vibration. Now, if you come together with another person and you're both hanging out in peace, then that field becomes stronger. Like right now, this field right here, it has changed this entire neighborhood. It's gone out miles and created a wave of peace 
and there are people being affected by this field that don't even know what we're doing. Someone is a, was about to make a, a choice to do something and change their mind. They don't know why they changed their mind. Somebody was about to have a big argument with somebody. They don't know why they didn't. Because the field, this field of peace is stronger than the lesser frequencies of doubt and worry. So you, you always start with ourselves, and then we're guided into what actions we can take, and those actions will be according to your gifted nature, what your gifts are, what your talents are. So you expand your awareness first, and then the universe uses you according to your unique talents. Does that make sense? And so we all want to heal the world. We're all being avenues of peace, and we have the capacity, and now we have the willingness to do what? To heal the world. Breath. Thank you. 큰 박수로 다시 한 번. 네. 어... We all have the capacity to heal the world. 명상을 조금 진행하시겠습니까? After the uh... now. Yeah. Okay. 조금만 짧게 진행해 주시면 좋을 것 같아요. I still have a couple of moments. You still want to hang out with me for a moment? Okay. Close your eyes for a moment. We have a brief meditation. Your feet are placed firmly on the ground. Your hands are in your lap, palms facing upward. Do not cross your legs, do not cross your arms. Eyes closed. Imagine a beam of light coming out the bottom of your feet going to the very center of the earth. You are an earthling and you have the capacity to draw upon all the wisdom that has been born from human experience. That beam of light at the core of the earth is allowing you to be available to all of the wisdom that's in the newest sphere, the mental atmosphere of the planet, born from human experience. Imagine this beam of light now coming up your spine, emerging at the top of your head into the realm of infinity. It goes forever. You are being reminded that you are a spiritual being having a human incarnation And you are available to all wisdom, transforming knowledge, creative intelligence, not born from experience, but it is intrinsic. It's within you already as a spiritual being. So as a spiritual being, You have access to knowledge not born from experience, but through insight. And as a conscious earthling, you're available to 
wisdom and knowledge based on experience. You have both. Now this beam of light that's coming from the bottom of your feet all the way to the center of the earth and emanating from the top of your head into eternity. See your heart cavity, your heart space filled with this luminosity. And it is radiating in all directions simultaneously. becoming more intense without losing any of its luminosity. With every breath, the light is becoming stronger and more profound. And we begin to realize that our true identity is light brilliance, luminosity. You are the light of the world. You have access to all wisdom and knowledge and love, and creativity and abundance. And you're, you are activating the law of radiance. You are radiating the light of love, beauty, intelligence, harmony, abundance, opulence, elegance, confidence, courage, creativity, power. You are light, radiance. Nothing can touch you. Anxiousness is gone. Fear is dissolved. Worry is disintegrated. You are a radiant being of dynamic peace. Healing the world. All of your needs are met. You are radiating it. be in this sacred silence for just a few seconds. You can heal the world. And if you really try, you find there's no need to cry. In this place, there's no there's so hurt or sorrow. There are ways to get there. If you care enough for the living, make a better place. Make a better place. Hear the world. You can open your eyes now. Make it a better place for you and for me.